God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, and we'll read verse number 12. And it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. You know, as we stand here today, we are four or five days away from Halloween. Um, and there are some born-again believers who are planning to partake in Halloween. Uh, allow their kids to go trick-or-treating. Uh, allow their kids to dress up in costumes and attend Halloween parties. And in fact, there are some born-again believers who are adults who are planning to do the same thing. Well... Hopefully not the trick-or-treating part, but they're probably uh, planning to, to, to go to the Halloween party. But even on that, these are things that need to be reconsidered by people of God. You see, because we really do have to make a decision as to whether or not this word of God is true. And the scripture text that we uh, read today, um, as born-again believers, we are very familiar with it. Uh, we often talk about the battle against the powers and the principalities and, and, and the rulers and all of those things. Um, we often talk about those in our daily walk with God. We talk about how we have to battle against the spirit realm, uh, the evil spirit realm. And certainly we understand that the spirit realm is real and that there are evil spirits that are assigned to this earth and even a sign to our lives to try to wreak havoc and to destroy us. Uh, and God says that that is who we battle with. We don't battle against people, we battle against spirits. But if that is what we do in our daily walk with God, that we wrestle against these spirits and we overcome them in the name of Jesus, then why do we take one day out of the year and align ourselves with them in, in a so-called celebration of Halloween. We have to make a choice. Either these are spirits that we wrestle against and battle with or not. And if they are, then there's no one day out of the year where you can set that aside and say, well, I'm going to partake and do the types of things that celebrate these evil spirits. And that's just what Halloween does. When you look at the origin of Halloween, it's about all things evil, celebrating the dead and witches and warlocks, and ghosts, and all those types of things. The very things that God says that his people should avoid and stay away from. And so we have to make a choice. And there is someone who's watching this today, where you are going to, today at lunch, you are going to go and buy your child a Halloween costume. And the Spirit of the Living God and His love has brought this to your attention today, so that you do not go out and make that purchase. But instead, God is directing you to go home and talk to that son or to that daughter and to explain to him or her that as a, as a family of God, we do not partake in Halloween because these spirits that are elevated on, on uh, October 31st by the world are the very spirits that the Word of God says we ought to wrestle with and to overcome. And now we've made our choice. So on this uh, particular time, or at this particular time, as Halloween is approaching, uh, let's, let, let us pray together as a body of believers that we will stand strong together and continue to follow the spirit of the living God and not any of these evil spirits and the idea of fun. Because there's nothing fun about it. These are the enemies of our soul. Amen. And God has given us a direction. We do not associate with them. We do not engage with them. We do not have fun, quote unquote, with them. But we wrestle with them. We battle against them. And we defeat them in Jesus' name. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged. And know that Jesus loves you. 
and his love never fails. You